Hi everybody, this is Matt Trumbo, Institute Software and Solutions Product Manager. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about the latest and greatest in our mobile software, the Vucitu Android Low Flow feature. So, we all know the advantages of low flow sampling over traditional purging techniques. Less volume pumped, less time spent at the well, higher quality samples overall. But a common concern that we hear is that there's a number of disadvantages to low flow sampling that counter these advantages. So for example, the Ohio EPA states that there are higher initial setup costs, a need for greater setup time in the field, and increased training needs associated with low flow sampling methods. So we absolutely agree there can be additional overhead to low flow sampling techniques. That's why we've worked to create our managed workflows in our low flow apps as the answer to these concerns. So features in our mobile apps provide even more efficiency and error proofing in low flow sampling by providing a managed workflow versus traditional paper field logs and manual calculation of stabilization parameters. It's easy to forget some small bit of information that could prevent you from using all of the data from a particular test. We make sure that you get the information you need by providing prompts for that data. The managed workflow makes it so that less highly trained employees can perform sampling and produce high quality results. Managed workflows also produce high degrees of repeatability and predictability in your results, no matter your skill level in hydrogeology. So with that, let's jump into our live demo of the ViewSitu Android Low Flow feature. So for here, we'll click on the menu to get to our Low Flow section. And it's the same underlying feature set that you know from iSitu, if you know that product. Well, there's been a number of improvements that I'm going to call out as we go along. But most importantly, you can now interface with the Aquatrol 600 that you see listed right up here. For low flow sampling, the biggest benefit to this is that you no longer have to use a standalone turbidimeter like you may have previously. The built-in turbidity sensor combined with the managed workflow and wireless connectivity of our mobile apps, it's awesome. It's a lot simpler to deal with. So, go to low flow here. The first thing I want to highlight is the template functionality. You can create a template using our PC software, WinSitu 5, email or transfer via USB directly to your device, and be able to start tests with all of your information populated with one tap of your finger, just like this. So I tapped on that template, and you can see we have a fully loaded test here. All low flow templates from iSitu and WinSitu 5 are backwards compatible, so you don't have to recreate all of your template files that you may have been using with our past software. So let me step back here, hit save and close. And I'm going to use this pending test as our next example for the video test. This is a cool new thing. You can have as many pending tests as you want. If you wanted to do every low flow event for a day, a month, or even your entire season, you could have them all sitting on your phone, created back when you had time during your slow season. It's just another way that we're thinking to save you time. So all well site pump related information can be entered electronically on these screens. So here's, you know, here's our automated calculator that lots of people love for how we calculate our sample interval. You can see I've pre-populated this information. It calculates out to six minutes. Um, you know, our flow rate is entered here. You have all well information is entered here, prompted for easy tracking. Um, over here on the details, we have a number of other notes and pump type, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, but the, all the stuff that's on this first page, that's the only information that you need to fill out before starting your test in the field. That's critical to note because previously we required you to fill out all information before starting your test. That took a fair amount of time before you could start your pump and begin the stabilization process. Now you can begin almost immediately and fill in all the missing information as the test proceeds. And of course, that's only if you don't have a pre-completed template. You'll also notice that we pre-populated the flow cell volume based on a connected instrument. It's worth pointing out that we do have by far the smallest flow cell in the industry, which is a critical piece in saving you time as it reduces that time to stabilization. So let's go ahead and start the test. You can see from this screen here that we're also going to make sure that you've filled up your low flow cell with water before continuing so you don't have bad data to start out your test. That doesn't look good on a report. So from this view, you can see all the current readings from your sensors and enter additional parameters at the bottom of the screen. So your user enter parameters like depth to water or flow rate, um, any sensors that you didn't happen to have populated on the particular sensor that you're using. So depending on what you're looking for at any given moment in time, you can wipe up and down on this bar to see more of your current readings. 
like so. Or you can wipe up to see more of the user entered parameters like we've already been pre-populated with depth to water. And the initial flow rate has also been entered. If I want to update the pump rate and sampling rate, I can do that on the fly like so. So I click over here to change the sample interval. I'm going to go ahead and change that to something unrealistically fast so we get some better data to look at. Or I can go ahead and rotate and see all parameters being read in a historical view. We rotate and we can see all the user and automatics readings in a single view. Now, we're probably getting close to stabilizing on a few of these since we're sitting here in the office and not in the field. But one of the biggest improvements that we've made in ViewSitu Android implementation of LowFlow is that our workflow is more flexible than it used to be. There's great value to more rigid managed workflows. But in a few cases with iSitu, we weren't allowing you or your customer, you our customers, to make changes where you needed to. A great example would be in the stabilization criteria. Now we're going to let you change this right on the fly. So if I rotate back here and hit Edit Properties, you can see, you know, depending on the specific conditions of the test you're running, um, for example, if you accidentally hit the bottom of your well, stirred up a bunch of silt, and uh, you can no longer stabilize on turbidity, that's fine. Now we're going to let you turn that off in the middle of the test, or maybe, maybe you wanted to go broaden the stabilization criteria to 50 NTU instead of 10. You can do that uh, so that you can, you can get on with your test and not have to completely restart it. So we've probably stabilized on a number of parameters at this point, so I'm going to go back to the running test page, and rotate, and you can see that here in green we have stabilized on a bunch of different parameters, which is good because we're just sitting here in my office. Um, and you can also see that we've auto-populated a lot of these user-defined parameters over on the left. So I can come over here and update this with, let's say, 940 is now our new depth to water. And we've upped our flow rate, say, to 175. So with that, we can change that or any other historical parameters going all the way back. So as is typical with a lot of these parameters, you know, maybe if there's not a lot of change in them, you know, you want to have the last value populated over and over again, and you only update it at critical moments during the test, just trying to make it easier for you. So I'd say we're stable enough on most parameters to end the test. Let's click Finish Test. You can see here we have this dialog that makes sure that you really do want to end your test. Anybody who's accidentally ended a test will really appreciate this dialog. I go ahead and click Finish. This is where we add samples, just like in other versions of this software. I'll real quick add in something here. Maybe this is the nitrate sample. You can put any information there that you want, and you can add as many samples as you want as well. Um, so I'll click Next. And on this final screen, you can see that. And this has been a highly requested feature for many of our customers. We've auto-populated all these fields with information entered over the course of the test. Most notably, we're directly calculating total volume pumped. So there was much rejoicing from many of you, I'm sure. You can also enter any post-test notes at any point during the actual test, honestly. Uh, this field, you can see there was already some notes here from the beginning of it. We can go ahead and add in final notes here. Uh, this is persistent through the whole test. So, and then when I finally hit complete test, you can see our beautiful low flow report, all the information present, uh, all of the samples collected, all of the information gathered over the course of the low flow test. Um, these reports can be shared with this save to button. Uh, this pops up a whole list of apps. Most people would use this to email, but if you have FTP or Dropbox, OneDrive, other apps that you'd like to use, you can share those files with that. Whatever your use case needs, we now more easily accommodate that to save you even more time. So that's it for our intro and walkthrough of the new ViewSitu Android feature. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like more information, we have all kinds of great studies on the application section of our website, www.in-situ.com. And of course, you can find the ViewSitu Android app on the Google Play Store. Just search for it in the search box, V-U-S-I-T-U. And of course, you can rent everything we sell. Thanks again. Have a good one.